Anti-Slob, Anti-Slob Mob, Anti-Slob Squad. Coming back to y'all, Anti-Sloppy, Anti-Lazy, Anti-Obese, Anti-Bad Behavior. And right now, I want to let, I want to be the one to let y'all know, man. Like, uh, well, first of all, hold on. Y'all know how we got to do it, man. 41 subscribers. Appreciate every single one of y'all. Y'all the reason why I make these videos. Y'all the reason why I'm motivated to make these videos. And, uh, you know, I really want to see you guys get better. Because, uh, no, I'm on the path to getting better. And, uh, like, let's do this. Let's do it together. Let's go. Let's get there. Anti-slob, right? So, um, it really pains me to be the message of this, uh, be the deliverer of this message, right? I'm here to tell you guys that, uh, you know, you've been hoodwinked. You've been bamboozled. You've been taken aback. You've been tricked. You've been manipulated. You've been deceived. You've been deceived, man. I want to talk about, you know, this gangster, you know, culture that's being perpetuated, you know what I'm saying, uh, mainly by, you know, the black community, right? Um, you know, there's this gangsterism that you learned from, uh, you know, the, the, the Italians, you know, the Italians. Let's just talk about it. You know, the, the crime and mafia, mafioso. And then, you know, like I said, I'm going to get right into this video. We ain't holding back. And then you see, like, the black community, you know, they kind of adopted to that, you know, where they got this, this, this G code, right? Where, you know, you're like, oh, I'm not going to snitch, I'm not going to tell, I'm not going to be a rat, I'm a gangster, I'm doing this. And, uh, you know, it was learned, that was learned behavior, you know, that, that was something that, you know, the black community seen, you know, from uh, the Italians. Uh, that's where that term came from. That's who invented it, that's who started it. And it, it's just so quite funny to me. That's why I say you've been taken aback, you've been deceived, all this stuff, because... Here you have a people, right? The Italians, where they say, uh, you know, this is how you act. You, you know, you do this gangsterism, and you know, this is the way, and you know, this is the, the rules to it. This is the, how, how you do it. You know, it's about loyalty and all of this shit. And they turn around and like, I don't know the exact number, but I know it's a very fucking high percentage of those same people that, you know, created this, this, this lifestyle and this mindset and this code, they do a lot of goddamn ratting, you know, they do a lot of telling, they do a lot of snitching, you know, because hence, you know, even the term rat came from the same people who told you that you're not supposed to rat, right? They, they, they invented the term because they started doing the shit, right? They got the rat and telling it, you know, doing all the stuff they tell you not to do. But what's so funny and what I find, that's why I say you've been taken aback, you've been hoodwinked, you've been tricked, is that now you have the black community that embraced that lifestyle of wanting to be, you know, a gangster and, uh, you know, the code is we don't tell, we don't snitch. And, uh, you know, you've been tricked, you've been hoodwinked because think about this, right? Now, um, and this is like, I'm not going to say any names, but I have a family member, right? Uh, where, you know, they had that mindset where they were like, you know, I'm not going to tell, I'm not going to snitch. And, you know, lo and behold, they didn't, you know, no one did. You know, it was a case of multiple people on it, I believe. I don't know the details, but I believe nobody told, right? So it was just like a, everybody, you know, kept it quiet. But um, it wasn't like everybody, I guess everybody didn't keep it quiet. Because I, I would think that if everybody kept it quiet, that you wouldn't really, you know, get really slammed and like fucked over like that. So someone, obviously somebody had to tell. But the point is, though, is that um, motherfucker got a lot of time, right? Motherfucker damn near, almost, like, almost three decades of time, right? Close to three decades of time. You come home to absolutely fucking nothing. But, you were real, man. Oh, man, you, you kept it, you, you held it down. Oh, man, you, you stood tall in the face of danger. You, you get all, you get all this, 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 this mouth, you know, praise and this, 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 this lip service, you know, all this talking, you know, and, uh, you know, pats on the back, pandering, you know, trying to make you feel good with words, but you don't get any, I don't, I don't, I, I don't see, any, you don't get any cold, hard cash. There's no reward for not being a snitch, even though it's an honorable thing. Okay, I get it, but I don't get it, because where the fuck did you learn that from? And the very people that taught you this, they don't even practice it themselves, but you know, you, like I said, again, you've been hoodwinked, you've been tricked, you've been bamboozled, you've been taken aback, you've been deceived, you've been lied to, you've been manipulated. For the very thing that you hold in high regard is something that was used to destroy an entire community. And I just wanted to speak upon it 
you know, it kind of kind of aligned with that last video. You know, I talked about the snitching versus being a witness. Um, just that whole mindset, you know, uh, you know, of, of the communities where I throw the black community in particular, of them adopting that culture and adopting that mindset. It's done nothing but destroy, uh, you know, families, destroy uh, communities. Uh, you know, it just it just there was there was no upside, you know, to that at all. You know, uh, I, I mean, for the for the people that went through it, it was none, but there was some upside for you know the people that that uh, own the prison industrial complex. You know, they, they they laughed all the way to the bank, and they uh, you know they used um, they you they they used you. You know, you got used for their plan. You know, they they gave you the code on how to act, right? Gave you the code. This is how you act. You don't say nothing. You keep it quiet, right? Then they give you the guns, they give you the drugs, they go sell it for them, right? So they they, they, they gave you the, the, the code of ethics on how to act. Then they give you the goddamn product to move. So once you get caught, they tell them, remember, you got to act like this if you get caught. Then you got you to stand strong, take all that time. So they should come home and they can tell you, you were real. You, 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 you him. You stood tall in the face of danger. You know, and then, and then it, 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 even if you do come home, you know, for some money, was it worth it? What what type of dollar amount would you do? What type of dollar amount would you accept to be gone off of from society for thirty goddamn years? It's just you put that in the comment, and y'all let me know. You know what would be the dollar amount that you would accept? Me, there is no dollar amount that I would accept. There's nothing. That, I mean, there's no amount of money you can tell me that I'm gonna go do this time for three decades, and then when I come home, I'm gonna get this. There's no amount of money. You can tell me that you're going to give me or actually do it. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, no. So, um, you know, hopefully you guys have that same mindset. There's no amount of money that you could, uh, you know, be bought for, for someone to take away your freedom for 30 years. But, you know, uh, this, this channel was anti-bad behavior. Um, you know, like I said, very unfortunate, um, you know, that uh, that was something that got, you know, put on to that community from another community. You know, like it got it got passed from the Italians to the blacks. It's like wow, like because that wasn't something that you know they practiced. It wasn't something that they were taught uh, with the, within themselves. You know, it, it was a whole different, another community that taught 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 them that, and it didn't do anything but destroy them. But the very people who taught you that, they weren't even practicing that. They were, you know, telling like a you know like it was no one's business. So just want to speak on that, man. You know, just kind of like get people to wake up. You know, kind of start trying to think and be on this anti-bad behavior, you know, anti-sloppy. Uh, you know, that's having the, the, the crib clean. Okay, you mastered that. You're getting up and you're making up your bed. Great. Um, Anti-lazy. You know, you're going to work every day, you know. Uh, even in the days that you're off of work, you know, you're working on your business. You're working on your classes. You're working on your certification. So we're working. We're not lazy. And then you anti-obese. You know, you're working out. You know, you're eating good, you know. I got a uh, you know meal I'm, I'm, I'm preparing right now, you know, uh, mouth discipline, counting calories, something real nutritious, plant-based, you know how I'm coming. So it's just, you know, y'all see it. It's just about, you know, being a complete person. Don't let me forget, anti-bad behavior, you know. So we got the sloppy, lazy, obese, bad behavior. And, uh, you know, the bad behavior is something that I really want to, uh, you know, uh, uh, hone in on, you know, not to say the other ones aren't important, but the bad behavior will, will like basically stop, you know, you in your tracks, you know, all the work that you, you know, obtained, all of the work that you put in to attain what you got could be wiped clean with bad behavior. So, you know, having the right mindset, you know, not adopting other cultures as yours, not being manipulated, not being tricked, you know, and just doing what's right, you know, anti-bad behavior, you know, it's, it's sad, you know, uh, that, you know, people have been, uh, you know, manipulated by mindset and the code that, you know, that does nothing but just destroy you and just have you, you know, taken away from your loved ones for what? For nothing, you know, you get nothing. You get no reward, you get no, you know, it's nothing, you know, it's n nothing is worth it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, that's just the biggest lie that's been perpetuated in that community and it needs to stop. And somebody needs to say something about it. I'm, I'm here, I'm, I'm, I was sent to tell you that you've been tricked, you've been lied to, you've been bamboozled, you've been taken aback. Oh, you've been tricked, brothers. But anti-slide, man, y'all subscribe, y'all comment, y'all let me know what y'all think. And uh, I'm going to keep bringing this content. I'm going to keep doing what I do. I'm going to stay consistent. And yeah, y'all see it, man. It's, it's, it's coming up off of me, man. 217 right now. And I ain't stopping, man. You know, still got 
Got to get down. I'm trying to get under 200, man. I'm trying to get cut. But anyway, man, y'all do what I said, man. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And I'll check y'all out again. Peace out.